Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am on Alphacraft again. This time though, I'm going to be building another house here in the little North Pole district that Steed and I had started. We made that uh, portal house right there and um, decorated the area up with a few little paths and some candy cane lights on the road. And then behind me there, I have another little house I'm gonna build eventually. But right now today is a little gingerbread house, a gingerbread style house. I'm hoping that this can inspire you to create a, your own cute little Christmas house. All of the other alphas links are in my description below. I hope you'll check them out. They are some awesome builders. All right, so as you can see here, I've got some blocks laid out here. These four in the front, um, as you can see, there are four blocks in this direction five in this direction. So it's five wide and then four deep. This is gonna be just a little section that sticks off the front of the house. It's gonna have its own little roof sticking out uh, and it helps to give this little uh, square house a lot of character. These four blocks that are left are nine by nine. You will want to have a nine by nine square and then a four by five square, which is centered off the front here. The main section is going to have a second story uh, in the roof peak. All right, so let's go ahead, build these walls up. What we're going to do is the nine by nine square. You're going to build up five blocks. So including the block on the bottom, you'll wanna go five blocks up all the way around. I forgot to mention that I am using brown terracotta. So that filling up that to five blocks tile, tall that used approximately two and a half stacks of brown terracotta all right so the section that comes off the front I, as you can see i left this little area open because i know that it's going to be um it's going to be open to whatever this section coming out is so this section since your door is going to be right here we're going to leave that space open but we're just going to fill the lines in like that this is going to be slightly shorter than the top there. So I'm pretty sure this one is going to be four blocks tall. We want to leave a two block opening for the door. Fill this in. Right now this is three high, but let's go ahead and make this four high. Oh, and I forgot to put my armor back on. <laughs> I better do that because I, I got a little comfortable there. I don't know if there's going to be a creeper showing up. All right. So now we've got, uh, and I really actually do think I may take that one layer off, um, but we want to get our roof style uh, in. So let's grab our scaffolding. And I know I just said that with a T when really it's with a D. <laughs> scaffolding. All right, so my roof shape, I often do roof shapes like, let me see, can we see it? I'll do the, uh, the one by two sections. So I'll go up two sections over one and then up two. All right, I think that's looking good. Uh, now the roof, we have to put in the roof line. As you can see, I have already decided to take off this uh, one layer. So now this front section is only three tall. All right, so now for the roof pitches, I think I'm gonna match the same pitch that I've got over there, which is I stand on the corner, go over one, and I go up two. The next section, when I go over one, I'm also going to go up too. I really like this kind of a roof pitch. Yeah, I really like that. I really like that. All right, so this front section here, we want to match the same pitch. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to add the stuff, add the same roof pitch on the back, and then we can get started on the roof. All right, so here we've got the basic wall shapes. I'm still not ready to cut the windows out, but I do want to get the roof shaped all right, so we are going to need quartz. You maybe can do, like if you don't wanna use your full blocks of quartz for the roof, you may might be able to get away using either white wool or white concrete. Let's see, where, where is my... But we're gonna, we're gonna put a few. We're gonna use white concrete with the quartz on top and we're gonna see if that still looks like frosting to us. So I'm gonna get this concrete made up and we'll be right back to start on the roof. All right, so first, uh, let's see how this is gonna work what I would like to do. And what I've got in my head, I want to make like candy cane sticks right here on each of these corners. So we're going to do something like this. So these are basically like my supports for the roof. I think we'll stop right there. I think this is how this is gonna work. If 
you're following this as far as a tutorial, um, just keep in mind as we go further down, something on this might change. I might make that one more taller or not. It, it's usually just, uh, I like to build on the fly like this. It, it really makes this a lot more fun. Now I'm wondering, I think I'm going to also need to have these little candy cane pillar sticks. Let's just do a safety peek. Make sure there's no creepers over there. Um, yeah, so each corner I think is going to be the same. So we're going to do this on all four corners and then we'll start on the roof. There we go. Yeah, I'm liking this already. So these look like little candy cane sticks and they are what is going to be holding up the roof. So what we have here is this corner of the roof. So we've got, since we've got two blocks tall, this is where you'll place a solid block and then the stairs gonna go like that. Now in my resource pack, these don't really match up. I'm not sure if in default they match more. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm gonna see if I like this once we kind of get one whole side done. Now because the roof ends here, I'm thinking, okay, we need to have an overhang. And you know what I think? Now that I'm looking at this, I think the entire gingerbread house uh, needs to go up one more block. So the roof needs to actually start right here because the candy cane goes to right here. And if I make that like that, then this one goes has to go away. And I, I like having red right here on the very top of the candy cane. So we're going to increase. Oops, I fell. Yeah. Let me get out my brown terracotta. I'm just going to add one block to everywhere around there. And I'm probably going to add one more to that as well. Let's do that really quick. There we go. I think that's going to match up better with my little candy cane pillars that I've got. All right. So now we're going to place in one whole side of the roof, not both sides, just one side so that we can take a step back and see how it looks and how it flows. And if the colors uh, seem to match up. All right, so definitely my resource pack, the concrete and the smooth quartz just don't really, they don't blend well. I'm wondering if maybe snow. Uh, all right, so snow blocks is on that front. Concrete is up there. I guess the snow blocks do look a little bit better. All right. Let's see what Stina says, but I'm kind of thinking we're going to go to snow blocks because using quartz is going to be so incredibly expensive. How many would I need? I would need, that's about three stacks, not including all the stairs. So yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to see what Miss Stina says. Yeah. So I've switched back to my texture back. I, even in my texture back, I like the look of the snow block against the quartz, um, better than the concrete, even though they do have a bit of a similar, um, look and feel. This one has some texture and, uh, yeah, that is what we are going to do, but I've got a little bit to do. I've got to go, uh, get a bunch of snow, make snow blocks. So we will be back. All right. Yep. I, I like that. Um, I think that's looking good. Let's get over here. Yeah, it's already starting to look like a gingerbread house. Now we've still got some details to do. Now we got to figure out where we're going to have windows. Uh, let's see. So the door is going to be here. Man, don't you wish you could make a red door? I do. I wish I could slap a door on there and uh, slap it with dye and have it a color. <laughs> yeah. That this a red door on a gingerbread house would be awesome, but I think I'm gonna use dark oak just to have a little bit of a space. All right, let's grab that. Okay, so the top. Let's let's. I'm gonna show you the idea I have for the chimney that comes out the top of the roof. All right, so. This sticks out to, here's where the wall is. So the chimney, right. I've got to make it three by three because I want to have um, a hole in the middle where we put a campfire so we can have the, the smoke going up, a little smoke stack. I think we'll do that because I'll put the, um, 
the smoke thing there. All right, so now let's make... I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. I'm going to use stairs. Um, upside down stairs like that. Yeah, so that it makes that little ledge. All right. Let's get on here. Stick it in the corner, each one. All the way around. Okay, let's take a hop down and see what this looks like. Actually, that looks like just the right height. I really, really like it. Yeah, that looks great. All right, so now let's make a fireplace. Uh, let's see, so since there's gonna be a second floor there, um, it's going to also go through the second floor. All right, so the fireplace is only going to take up a two by three spot. I'm thinking it's going to be something like this. Something like this. So it's going to look like a, um, it's like, you know, like a, an old brick oven. So I'll, I'll take that out down there. Uh, okay. Quick sleep. Oh my goodness. And I'm thinking we'll do one more high, like that. Okay. So what we're gonna have here is a ledge, goes like that. Nope, you know what, let's bring this down one more. That's like the mantle, so yeah, that needs to be down. Just, I think it needs to be down. It needs to be here. Yeah. So let's take this out. Yep, all right, so that's going to be a solid block. Yeah, all right, I like that. I might even add, I might do something over here on the edge just to give some detail, but I think that looks really cool. Or I might just put in some um, bookshelves or something. Yeah, but I'm liking how that looks. I think we need to get the floor in next. All right, so I have decided to use barrels right here for how the, the stairs go up. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. I, I can work with that. I can work with that. There's going to be so much uh, decoration as things going on. I really don't think that that little bit of a transition is going to be something terribly noticed. So. All right, so as I was trying to work in how the transitions work here, I, I decided to take out that snow block and put an upside down port stair. Now I'm wondering if I also need to do that to this one so that the whole front looks smooth, but then from the side, you'll see that the last two are different. I think that's gonna work. I still have some ideas for icicles and things with um, end rods. I'm thinking I want to do, whoops, I want one more hanging down. Oh, I'm going to have to do this opposite. Oh, no, no, there we go. That's, that's right. So does this look okay? Now I know that little end part of the end rod is purple in default dex track. I kind of like that little detail. I kind of like those there. Um, we'll have to see what it looks like at night. But I would like to do the same thing on that roof and then the back side, and then we will come right back so I can finish off some of the dressings around the doors and the windows. All right, so I added some icicles all the way around the roof. Let's show you that real quick and then we'll work on the windows. So yeah, I added the little hanging lights and these little icicles, and of course the icicles help to uh, light everything up. And then I might have to run home and get more end rods because I think I only brought one stack maybe something like that and then what I'm going to do down here is going to have uh you know what actually there that actually looks a tad bit I think I like that better let's yeah I like that all right so I'm gonna do that these little windows I don't think need any kind of um they just don't need any window dressing I'm gonna do something down here like kind of like flower planters except they're gonna look candy-ish you know because <laughs> this is a gingerbread house 
Actually, I like it. <laughs> yes. Cuteness. Cuteness, I like it a lot. All right, so we did just a little bit. Uh, I added in some little things here. A few bookshelves, a uh, note block, lantern. Um, I'll probably put either some armor stand um, art. I guess I'm calling it armor stand art. Either some armor stand type decorations or flower pots. Also across the top there, I'm also gonna be making some banners, um, you know, and we'll I'll strategically place some of those in places. Uh, but yeah, we've got, so we've got a couple little shelf areas. Uh, I made this little just nook area. This is where there will be, uh, you know, someone helping to, I don't know, serve you something. I'll put some item frames up with um, probably baked goods, something. But we're also, we've got to add, you know, curtains and just all kinds of fun things in here. Uh, also, maybe something in here, uh, uh, leaves or flower pots, uh, decoration stuff. That's the stuff that I have to fiddle around with and decide what I'm going to do. But I went ahead and I put some sea lanterns there with trapdoors under and that will that really helps to um, add the light but it's not just like a light right there like you just don't you know see it right away uh, I hid a little light right there put a bookshelf here we'll put a flower pot or some leaves something and then when we go upstairs uh, I've decided I put uh, these now in my resource pack I can see through these but uh, these are spruce so you won't be able to see through these um, in other texture packs so in this little area, uh, there will be a bed. And then I'm going to be making the a miniature fireplace. So basically, it's like an extension from downstairs. I didn't, don't have any of the bricks with me. Um, yeah, and this is just here temporarily to keep mobs from spawning. Uh, I really like the lanterns, the use of these lanterns up here in the upstairs because I want it to look more, uh, just more homely. And I think that the lanterns help to give that. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like that. So there'll be shelving area here and I'll add the light. And here's just like where you can, just a little sleeping area. And we will add maybe a bookshelf or two and um, a little shelf or something right up there. Yeah, that'll be great. All right. So just a little bit of decorating left and then I'll do a final tour. All right, so um, I've got a few things. I put a loom here. Uh, let's see, I've also got, got to get the iron bar in here. We've got to get a little table. Perfect. We could put it here by the front door, maybe. Uh, we definitely will need it accessible. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a stair? We could put it right here. Perfect. Perfect. All right, that is a perfect spot. All right, guys, it's finally done. I finally finished all the little things. I had to run back to my base twice because, you know, kept forgetting stuff. But here it is. So I made this little path in the front. I wanted lots of light. I might come and maybe add some carpet. I'm not sure, maybe red and white. But I thought these kind of look like great big lollipops. Those could be really cute in the front here. So as you can see, I put item frames with different colored of the glazed ter terracotta so red green and i believe that's lime so on the ones uh down here i made them diamond shaped and all the ones up there i just left them square but i really wanted to put a lot more but with item frames being entities um there's already about there's about whoa there's a there's a guy ruining my ruining it all dude <laughs> i don't know where he came from when you get into red there you go so when you get into view you can see all the little all the little candies uh, all along on the outside of the gingerbread house. All right, so let's go inside now. You walk in, and of course, here's your chest of goodies, which is all of the elf food groups. So you've got your candy corn, your sugar, your syrup stew, eggnog, and wassail. And there, yeah, and I added, um, I changed this up just a little bit. Since I have the brew stand here, you know, we've got the brewing ingredients, uh, I put a nether wart there so that that could be growing. So I thought that looked really festive. Um, I put those down here as well. Uh, these ones, I basically used the same pattern, but I started with a red banner and put white stripes and then the chief indent on the top. So we get up to the top here and we've just got little decorations. 
Got the berries and I tried to keep all of the flowers or um, things in the item frames to red, green, or white. But that's gonna wrap this build up. I hope that I have given you um, enough of the details that you could build something really, really similar. Uh, the, like I said, the base in the beginning, it's very simple. Just a nine by nine square, add a, a three by five block off the front there. And then uh, the roof is a one by two pattern pitch and you just meet it all up and then decorate the inside. And I hope I've given you enough uh, designing ideas, like like these barrels for the center of the stairwell. I love that. I mean, we can use it for storage as well. One thing I forgot, oh my goodness, the armor stands. Um, I've got to put in some little elf people. That's the last thing I've got to do. So, all right guys, now it's finished. Now it's done. We've got this little elf here. He's sitting here greeting the customers and um, I bring them their, their elf, uh, the main elf food groups, of course. And then we have one more little elf upstairs. This one is just, warming herself by the fire. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like how this turned out. Little gingerbread house. Very cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today. I hope that uh, you were able to uh, at least get the dimensions going. If you didn't catch the episode that I made uh, before this one, a few days before this one, where Stina and I created that house right there in the North Pole and uh, all of this, all of these candy canes on the path, um, go check that out. Some similar things there. We had a lot of fun, a lot of holiday ideas. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode, guys. Bye.